Hey everyone, OSCE time. So this is how you're going to do the OSCE at home. I know it's causing a lot of you grief no end. Um, so I'm just trying to show you how you can do it using stuff around your old around your own house, your old house, your own house. So I've found myself a kitty. Hi. I've found myself a Billy. And I've found myself a Georgia. Now you don't need these three pieces of equipment. You can improvise however you want. But these are the three pieces of equipment that I have that are going to help me out. Also, I found myself a peak flow meter. Right on. I have the OSCE open on my computer. And I'm going to use this to help me around. So, scene safety. I need to make sure that the scene is safe. Well, the scene and is safe as a Miller household is going to be on a Saturday night after we've spent the day at the footy. But this is as safe as it gets. Right. I'm going to utilise standard precautions. I don't really need gloves for this procedure, but given that we're actually getting someone to breathe on me who's sick, or breathe near me when, who's sick, I'll probably need to have some glasses on. I don't have some glasses, but what I do have is a Billy. So Billy, come and be my glasses. Excellent, so there's my glasses. Right, so, oh, I just need to adjust them. I need to explain the procedure to my patient and gain some consent. So patient, come over here please. Standing right there. Okay, I need to take your... My glasses are breaking. I need to take your... Uh, do a peak flow test on you because you're having some breathing problems. Is that okay by you? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Are you comfortable? Yes. Excellent work. I can tell by your giggling that you're comfortable. Right up. So, what I need to do is I need to get my peak flow meter. And then I need to get my breathing tube and I need to connect my breathing tube to my peak flow meter. Which I do. And then I need to determine my patient's age, my patient's gender, and my patient's height. So, Kitty, how old are you? Eight. Wonderful stuff, she's eight. So she can do this test. Okay, are you male or female? Female. Excellent, she even knows that she's female. And finally, what's your height? Was it 137 centimetres when she last got measured? 137 centimetres. 137 centimetres. So for argument's sake, we're going to call this 140 centimetres because she was measured a little while ago. She's gone through a little growth spurt. I'm pretty confident it's 140 centimetres. Right -o. So, what I need you to do is I need you to stand upright. Can you do that? Turn around that way. See everyone? We're in Kendall's blue shirts, by the way. Kendall blue! Right. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do, okay? So I'm going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to, oh, well, I'm not going to do it because that would be a, not septic. I'll tell you how to do it and then I'm going to get you to do it. So see this little tube here? You need to put a tight seal with your lips around the tube. You take a deep breath, <gasps> tight seal around the tube and then blow out as hard as you can. All right, and we're going to do that three times and the highest number, that's your peak flow. So, are we ready? I make sure that my meter is set to zero. And are you ready? Okay, form a seal and blow as hard as you can. Big breath. Okay, and what she meant to do was <gasps> like that. All right, so let's try it again. Deep breath, seal, blow. That's it. Okay, and it says 312. 320, sorry. Reset it to zero. Do it again. Good job. That one says 320. Reset it to zero. Do it again. Good job. Well done. That one says 350. High five. Good job. So 350. So at that stage, I need to take my safety glasses off. Woo! Right up. Come back around here to my computer. And I need to look at my chart. Okay. So I have an eight-year-old patient. So that's up the top here. And her peak flow was, well, it was 350 was the biggest one. She's 135, 37, I think we said, so say 140 centimetres. So that's 170. She blew 350. She's well over the chart. Well done. High five. You're healthy. So, in closing, so come back around here. So we mentioned your peak flow. So now what I need to say, is there any concerns that you may have on the test we've just done or your respiratory assessment? No. No? Are you all happy? Yes. 
Excellent job. Well done. Hey. Okay. Please don't make a habit of hugging your patients. And that's as hard as it had to be. <laughs>